you call them. I can't do this anymore. Left my past. What's up, everybody? So this is Tawana Lee, aka Real Ram T Lee, and in today's video, I'm taking you with me on a journey as I spent September 11th with a few members of the Air Force Honor Guard. They put together a contribution and memorial for the victims of 9-11. And I'm gonna start this video off with a small reflection of what I was doing September 11th. If you're new to my channel, um, I am an Air Force veteran as well. I was an information manager, that's what it was called at that time. This has many names today, but back then it was known as an information manager. And I was assigned to the F-15 SPO at Robbins Air Force Base. And I was sitting at my desk doing some work, you know, and I was working with reservists. That's what we do there. Um, I was running the IMA program and there was some chitter chatter going on and the reservists were talking and... I think I was on the phone actually with one of uh, my friends who was in the comm squadron on an official phone call and she was probably watching the TV telling me what was going on and of course we had to end our phone call. Then my boss came in and was telling me what was going on. The reservists were talking. Everybody in the building was having conversations having talking about what was going on. So um, I was fairly recently married. So I'm calling my husband, couldn't reach him. I don't think so, I, you know, we know what we do. We shoot emails, I'm sending him an email. At some point I was able to talk to him. Um, I didn't have TV in my building that I can recall. Um, and then the news starts spreading and spreading that the second, second Towers was hit, that it's a terrorist attack and all of this. So I'm still in the building. Without TV, I don't get to see or hear anything. I don't believe back then we had cell phones or I had a cell phone. I know I had a pager. <laughs> I know that I had a pager though. And I had a 1-800 number and a local number to my pager. Um, and really, that's really all I can remember about that moment and that day other than the fact that the phone lines were like dead they were busy no matter who you tried to call the phone lines were busy you couldn't get through stuff was shut down um when i did speak with my husband i know he was telling me that his grandma was really concerned because he had an uncle at that time who was working at the pentagon and she couldn't reach him so she was really concerned um but the next day is really what i remember um, my husband and I, we lived in an apartment complex that was just off base, um, intentionally, right? Young airmen planning, planning for the future of how to not be late to work. So we were just shortly off base. And at that time, it was very easy to get on and off base. Although we had the decals on our cars, it was still really easy to get on base. But the next day, Oh, the lines were so backed up. I mean, the job for the cops, I know, was a whole new game changer. So instead of it taking all of like 10, 5 seconds to just kind of wave you through, wave you through, check the decal, just wave you through the base, it was a whole nother thing. It took forever. And what y'all complaining now about how security forces want to check people IDs, how you got to get your car checked. Oh, that very next day, things changed completely. We had immediate inspections, the ID, 100% ID check. And then sometime after that's when they, you know, did away with the decals and all of that. But the line, back to this line, where it took me a couple of seconds just to get through that gate and get through that traffic, that traffic was backed up for hours. And as I said already, I don't really recall if I had a cell phone or not. So, you know, you try to think ahead, right? You're going to call your boss, let your boss know that you're running late. None of that was happening because everybody was late. I remember watching people go by, people got out their cars and just decided to walk. And I was like, man, I'm not doing that. Because, you know, I'm still young. I was 21. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to walk because Robbins was pretty big. And I worked way on the other side of the base from where I had to drive. Man, I was in that line so long. 
what I did was I parked my car too. I parked my car on the side of the road and I just walked. I walked the rest of the way to the front gate and the MPF was right on the other side and I had friends who worked in the MPF. And because I was the admin, I had to run errands at the MPF anyway at some point of the day. I was like, I may as well kill two birds with one stone, right? I'm gonna be late to work anyway. So I went to the MPF, went to go check the mail while I was there. And I just asked a friend for a ride. <laughs> I just asked a friend to give me a ride to work while I was there. And that's how I did that. And I just picked up my car, you know, sometime later during the day. So things totally changed immediately. Um, but I definitely, times changed and I am grateful that we live in a nation and we did what we had to do with the information that they had at the time. You can think about whatever you want with the politics, but they did what they knew to do at the time. Each president after did what they thought had to be done. Now the war is over. Our troops can come home. I am grateful and sorry for the lives that have been lost. They paid the ultimate sacrifice. And in this video, again, um, some members of the Air Force Honor Guard put together a memorial service. Uh, you will see some uh, stairs being ran up and down or walked up and down to, to simulate all of the flights of stairs that the firefighters in New York had to um, climb. There would be, there's a 24 hour vigil run. I did not record all of it. I just recorded a couple of uh, people, a couple of minutes of that and you will see it all come together at the end um so i hope you enjoy this video and remember do not forget to click and subscribe share the video and hit that notifications bell enjoy the pre-recorded video
talk, though they don't understand. Situations you're in can get so out of hand. They'll state their lies as if they are fact. Once the damage is done, you can't take it back. You do your best to protect and serve, but are treated in ways that you don't deserve. They call your names and spit in your face, but if you weren't there, who would take your place? Cause you spend your life in danger, could take a bullet for a stranger. Thank you all for showing up. I know uh, people just funneling in as as we go, but um, just getting started. I'm sorry, Ray. I just decided to get this thing kicked off and rolling. I'm fire fire department oh. along with Chief Dylan and sorry, Holgate and sorry, Kanza isn't over here yet. 
I was stationed at Peterson Air Force Base. We did this every single year with the Manitou 2 incline. Uh, this year, we are just doing it on bleachers. That's how it works. 110 flights, that's how tall one of the Twin Towers was. Um, we will be up, down, and just one. Up, down, two. All right, take it at your own pace. Any questions, if you want to, you can move forward. Um, I have all the time to towers, Pentagon, light, anything like that, construct that, and how many cops, firefighters, and total deaths there were. Uh, we're doing this just to remember everyone, not one specific person, but everyone, everything. And I know people like Colonel Vaughn, Chief Dillon, Cindy Smith, me, but I don't really remember it much, but we're a lot there now, right now, and everyone can remember what they were doing. I see some younger faces over here. So, you guys, the younger generation, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, ask these other individuals around here just to hear their story of what happened to them while on this day. Alright? Let's get it. Best to protect and serve, but are treated in ways that you don't deserve. They call your names and spit in your face, but if you weren't there, who would take your place?
they're critical of you They should walk a mile in your shoes The days are hard, the nights are long But you still put the uniform on Morning world, I'm uh, Chief Master Sergeant Dillon, the uh, Chief Enlisted Manager for the Air Force uh, Honor Guard and uh, former uh, Fire Chief in the Air Force. Uh, today was an awesome day, got a chance to honor our uh, brothers and sisters from 9-11. Uh, uh, we did 110 uh, stair climb, which was pretty uh, remarkable. Uh, so what was I doing on September 11? I actually was on the base Honor Guard practicing for the Air Force uh, birthday. Um, we were coming out of community center practice and we saw uh, one of the towers on fire. And initially we thought, hey, a Cessna or something uh, ran into the World Trade Center. By the time I got back to the, uh, the fire station, we realized that it was a terrorist attack, the second plane crashed into uh, the World Trade Center. So this was definitely a day to honor, remember our brothers and sisters that uh, fell during 9-11. Uh, Some of the folks we were uh, doing a stair climb with weren't even born. So it was good to talk with them about 9-11 uh, and remember uh, what happened on September 11th. So thanks, have a great day. Well, I'm Sergeant Daniel Ray, United States Air Force Honor Guard. Uh, prior job is Air Force Firefighter. Um, 24 years old, so I was only four years old during 9-11. I set up this 9-11 climb event uh, just because being a firefighter, it was uh, pushed on me and I'm third generation fire and third generation Air Force. So uh, learning and knowing all about 9-11 and uh, just remembering the fallen of just the firefighters and police and even just the members that were in the Twin Towers, Pentagon and Flight 93. Uh, it's just really important to me, so I'm glad that I set this up and I had a pretty good turn. What do you call them? I can't do this anymore. Left my past all on the floor. I've been trying to keep it moving. Now we going north, going up to three, up to three. Got this joy inside of me because I, got I can't do this anymore. Left my past all on the floor. I've been trying to keep it moving. Now